Recreational pot may now be legal in Illinois, but that also means police departments across the bi-state will be cracking down on buzzed driving. So how will that work? Five on your side's Chris Davis is breaking it down. Marijuana in Illinois may be all the buzz, but if you also get behind the wheel, we're planning to see an increase of DUI cannabis. Uh, you might meet Officer Joseph Wagner. We're trained to come in and do this 12 step process to check vital signs like pulse, blood pressure, body temperature, pupil size. He's one of three O'Fallon, Illinois police officers who are extensively trained as drug recognition experts, meaning we're able to, with, with near certainty, determine what drug category that this person is either impaired by, and also it also will rule out medical conditions as well. But all police officers have enough training to conduct a field sobriety test and arrest you for DUI, just like if you were suspected of drinking. Wagner says the only real difference between screening for drugs instead of alcohol is there is no breathalyzer equivalent for marijuana. So in those cases, officers must use their training and gut instinct. This is the advice he gives his officers. If you don't feel comfortable letting them drive and they're too impaired to drive, then they're too impaired to drive. Like alcohol cases, after the arrest, you will have to submit a blood or urine sample to confirm anything is in your system, which could result in charges. The problem is, is it's affecting other parts of your brain as well. Uh, per depth perception, um, cognitive ability to be able to, to make split second decision. Wagner says the perception that marijuana is harmless isn't true, especially when you're behind the wheel. If you feel different, then you drive different. That's my message. Now, impaired driving isn't the only thing officers could bust you for. They're also on the lookout for how you transport what you bought from the dispensary. Now, by law, all marijuana products must be airtight, childproof, and scent-proof bags while you're in the car. Otherwise, you could face open container laws pretty similar to alcohol cases. So airtight, childproof, and scent-proof. So I'm guessing that's to stop people from getting to the river in Illinois, opening all the packaging from the recreational pot place, putting the whatever, the product in a regular plastic bag and driving back over and pretending they're medicinal or something? Sure, and it's in those bags that you actually get from the dispensary, so right. as long as whatever you buy, you keep it in that container, you should be good. And you can't smoke or consume, eat, whatever it is, the, the marijuana products just anywhere. No, they have pretty strict law. Part of that law is that it can't be in public or even viewable in public. So one scenario is you can't even be like smoking or consuming on your front porch because if you can be seen in public, you are considered in public. Interesting. Thanks mm -hmm. for the information. Chris, thanks.